In my other videos, I showed you how to configure the EU Im Image Optimizer. Now, I'm going to show you how to use it to get all of your images optimized. The EU Image Optimizer automatically optimizes any images uploaded to your media library. To show you that, let's do a sample post. And we'll give it a sample title with some sample content. And let's add an image in here. And sure, we'll do the thumbnail. And go ahead and publish that. So now if we go over to the media library, in WordPress 4.0, they introduced grid mode for the media library. But to see how much images have been optimized, we need to be in list mode. Here we can see the savings and if we have WebP support enabled you'll see the size of any WebP images as well. Also we can re-optimize these images as well as convert them Or, if they've been converted, we can restore an original back to the original format. The plugin keeps track of every image optimized in a special database table to prevent accidental re-optimization by any of the bulk optimization tools. However, using these links in the media library for re-optimize and conversion, it forces the plugin to re-optimize the image anyway. In the media library, one other thing we can do is bulk select images. And then from the drop down, we can bulk optimize those. If you have images you've already uploaded to the media library, you can use the bulk optimize tool to optimize those. The bulk optimizer has resume capability so if it gets interrupted, you can start back where you left off. It also skips previously optimized images, which you can see right here. But you can check the box right here to force re-optimization for media library images. Um, this box will also apply if you're running a scan and optimize. If you didn't set the bulk delay option on the settings page, you can still set a delay here before you begin optimizing your images. The plugin also has native support for Next Gen Gallery, Grand FLA Gallery, and Nexlink Gallery, which have integrations similar to the Media Library, and they have their own bulk optimization pages. Under Optimize Everything Else here, you can scan and optimize images in your theme, BuddyPress avatars, WP Symposium, and a few others. As we mentioned, the plugin keeps track of these images in a special table so that they don't get re-optimized and waste server resources. This is extra important if you use the scheduled optimization to automate this process. If you want to see the images that are stored in the table, we can come down here and click Show Optimized Images. It lets you browse through the images that have been optimized as well as remove any from the table that we might want to re-optimize. This is also where you can check to see if images generated by a particular plugin are being optimized automatically. And sorry, it's getting late. That was half of a yawn. <laughs> the plugin also lets you specify folders to include in the scan and optimize tool 
for images that aren't included by default. So like the buddy press images, the meta slider images, those kind of things are included in scan and optimize by default, but you can add any extra folders you want on the EU image optimizer advanced settings. If the images created or uploaded by a plugin are showing up in this table, you can include the folder that the plugin is using in folders to optimize so that you can optimize past or previously uploaded images. But you should remove that folder from the setting after running scan and optimize for the first time. However, if images created by a plugin do not show up in the table when you upload them, you should leave that folder in the setting and probably enable the scheduled optimization option so that way those images will be optimized every hour when the scheduled optimization runs. You can also mention these any plugins that behave like this in the forums and we can include them by default in future versions of the EU image optimizer. One more really cool feature of the plugin is that it extends the built-in WP image editor class and this allows automatic optimization of images for any plugin that uses the built-in WordPress image editing functions. Imsanity and the WP Retina 2X plugins are a couple examples, but there are many, many others using these functions for processing images. Of course, any images processed by these image editor functions will be tracked in the custom table as well so that they don't get re-optimized. There are some plugins out there that don't check to see if an image exists before they create it and that can sometimes cause duplicate optimization because the image is getting recreated on every page load. If you have a problem with something like that, please let us know, know in the support forums and we can try and help you track that down. So that's pretty much it. Once you've configured the plugin, run the bulk optimization on your images, then you will continue to keep your images optimized as you upload them. So, happy optimizing!